going to show you how to do dowel pin joints. What we want to avoid, we want to avoid doing butt joints at this point. Butt joints are not very strong, so that would just be putting glue there and putting these boards like this. That's weak. We don't want to do that. So dowel pin joint, what it involves is getting two dowel pins. That's what these are called. Just wood little pin kind of things. <clears throat> Drill two holes in this board. Those holes have to line up with holes on this board. And then these two will go together like this. And then we also glue all that too. This board I already drilled. I drilled this on the drill press. I used the drill press because it gave me a nice 90 degree um, drilling. And then I of course measured. So it's 3 eighths in and then 3 quarters of an inch in. That's just what I'm doing for this board. So it depends on what you're doing. Your dimensions might be different. And these are 3 eighths inch diameter dowel pins. So I have a 3 eighths inch diameter uh, drill drill bit. I already precisely measured on the end of my board here. And what I want to show you, the reason why I'm, we're doing this little video, is to show you how to use this thing. So this is a jig to help us drill on the end of a board to, so then we can then put in um, dowel pins. Notice I have a piece of tape on the, on the drill bit. That's for me to then know like how, how deep I want to drill this in. So this is going to sit on the end of the board like this and it just clamps on. So the drill bit has to go all the way through this. There's a hole, so it's going to go all the way through this and then into the wood. What I need to do so I can get the proper depth is I need to measure the thickness of this black area, this black metal, which is an inch and three quarters. And then the dowel pin, the dowel pin itself, I think it was an inch and a half. So I had an inch and three quarters here, half the dowel pins in here, half the dowel pins going to go in there. So now I got to do a little bit of math. I'm not going to, you have to do some thinking. So I'm not going to give you all the numbers here. So I added this plus the half, half of the depth here and just a little bit extra to then set my tape. And the way that the tape works is you're just going to drill through and then once the, the tape reaches what you're going for, then you just, just stop. So uh, anyway, I got my two markings here where I'm going to drill. I'm going to line up the jig. And I tighten it once it's lined up. So then what I'll do is I'll actually um, drill this out. So I line up the hole, the 3 eighths, there's different holes here. I line up the hole and then I'll drill it. Notice I, I stopped when I got to the tape, so now i got to move it to the other hole. And if you do this precise enough, everything will line up. There's other, other, um, a couple other tricks you could do to try and get stuff lined up. Like you could drill, let's say you, you did your holes in this first, you put the pegs in, you put a little dab of glue, <clears throat> or I could have done it this way too. I put a little dab of glue on the top of each one, and then I get it lined up, boom. And then that can tell me where I'm gonna drill. But anyway, I think you get the idea here. I'm not gonna drill this other hole, but, um, I would use the jig to drill that other hole, and then I just line this up. I could use a wood hammer if I need to, to tap it down, I'd, and make sure I have glue. I glue these into here, I glue these into there, but I also put glue on the surface, the surfaces that are gonna touch too. Anyway, that's how you do a dowel pin.